Time to get excited because it looks like Epic Games have just launched version 5.5 of Unreal Engine in preview. I'm going to run through some of the things that I've seen on the roadmaps that I'm really excited to test out in this version of the engine, specifically around path tracing and denoising. I'm currently on the product board for Unreal Engine, which is their roadmap that shows all of the things that they're currently working on that could be in the current release of Unreal Engine and future releases of the engine as well. So they don't specify exactly whether this is going to be in 5.5 or whether it could be further down the line in 5.6, but I'm expecting some of these things to make their way into this current release of the engine. For instance, heterogeneous volumes or VDBs, which now currently work in Unreal Engine, but don't fully support everything. And now it looks like more support is going to be coming to them. And I'm mostly interested here actually in the support that they're adding for Niagara Fluids because Niagara Fluids, while good, have got some pretty serious limitations when it comes to lighting. For instance, they don't really receive any lighting from geometry that can cast a shadow onto it. If you're in ray tracing, getting a shadow to cast onto one of your Niagara Fluids just doesn't work. And it only seems to work when you're not in ray tracing. So I've been playing around with them a lot and I think that that would be an incredible addition because it says right here, remaining work for the deferred renderer includes support for shadows, translucency, and lumen. So this is good news. Now, this is one of the ones that I'm really excited about. And I was excited about it as well when they launched 5.4 and I was going to make a video about it all the way back then, but it just wasn't good enough for me to make a video on, I'm afraid. Ultimately, adaptive sampling can be incredible if you want to shorten the time it takes to render an image because it can spend more time on the noisy areas and start turning off the pixels where noise is no longer an issue. And lots of renderers do it. You can get it in Blender, you can get it even in Octane for Unreal Engine or just Octane standalone if you're using it. But the path tracer that we have in Unreal doesn't really have good adaptive sampling. It does kind of work and you need to know the console command to get it to work but once it does work unfortunately you end up with some weird artifacts in highlights of your image and it's just you just don't get usable results with it at the moment but I'm hoping that in 5.5 I'll be able to boot this up and it will just work. This next one I'm probably more excited for than adaptive sampling, path tracer, denoising and the denoisers in Unreal's path tracer at the moment are too heavy on the image they just completely strip away detail. The denoises that currently are in Unreal Engine are the Optics Denoiser and the Intel Open Denoise. Intel's Open Denoiser is clearly the standard, but both are just too heavy on the image. So as they say right here in the roadmap, the current path tracer denoising options have limitations such as removing too much detail in some cases and not being temporally stable totally, totally the case. And if that's something that they know and it's on this roadmap, maybe there's improvements in 5.5. I would really like, even if I'm just going to be using Intel's open denoiser, some sort of command that tells them how much denoising I want. Maybe I don't want full denoising, maybe just, you know, 0.5. But rumor has it that a new denoiser is making its way into the engine. JS Films, who made an incredible video about this probably some time ago now, actually, but he was playing around with the source version of 5.5 pre-release and there was a new denoiser in the engine which you could locate under the plugins section so as soon as this is downloaded that's the first place i'm going to be going okay we're in 5.5 uh the first thing i'm going to do is go straight to the plugins i want to see if that denoiser is in the engine okay so searching for denoise, we can see the N4 denoise. That's the new one. That's the new one that I saw in the JS Films video. Really great video. If you want to see the results to that, I'm going to link to that video in the description so you can see what this can do, because I think this denoise could mean quicker renders, perhaps less samples. It's, it's very, very exciting. It says here, spatial temporal denoising engine for the Unreal Path Tracer, mainly used with Movie Render Queue. It denoises each pixel based on the surrounding patches in space and time in all directions. That's, it's very exciting. Uh, but I'm also noticing that open image denoise is on as well. I'm assuming I need to uncheck that for to use N4 by default, um, I, but I don't know what it would use by default if they're both checked. So some testing to be done there. 
One of the reasons that I'm so excited about denoisers is because I do a lot of work now with these virtual lenses that I've built for the engine. They not only need a path tracer to work, but path tracing with virtual glass can be much slower than traditional renders. Maybe not that much slower, but definitely slower. Improved denoisers, better sampling, I'm all there for that. I will do a test of my lenses with 5.5 in a future video. Stay tuned for that. And if you've never heard of virtual glass, this is the video for you. Check that out next. I'm looking forward to making some more tutorials for you guys. I'll see you on the next one.